All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers and let's get straight into this video. So in this video, I kind of want to go over what's like the day in the life of a network engineer? Like what's the, the, the typical day to day that you would expect? Um, and I wanted to make content about this because when I first got started, I mean, there's barely any videos of people talking about the typical day in the life of, of a network engineer. Like what's the realistic aspect that you'll notice? And it's, you know, just something that I'm interested in and hope you guys might uh, find interest in. So let's get straight into it. So um, if you guys are, st are studying for your CCNA, um, just know that some of the stuff, I would say this, okay, maybe 56% of the stuff that you do may not be what you do on the day to day. And there may be stuff that's outside of the CCNA that you're doing your current job that you're going to have to learn why you do the current job. So there's like different aspects that you have to know. So um, that's why people, that's why in the job market, they kind of value experience more than the uh, value certifications, because obviously the, when you're actually working a job, it's completely different from obviously studying because there's just different things they do. Maybe they're working in different technologies. Maybe there's newer technologies. Maybe every company is different, by the way. That, that's something I just want you guys to know is like wherever it does, wherever you work, there might be different things you might do. You may code one job. You may focus on like ISP, like work with the physical wires, do a lot of layer one work, right? Um, some jobs you may work at, you know, an, an ISP where you work at an internet service provider. So you work with multiple customers. Um, you may work in an office environment, right? So you may work at an office. Let's say you work at an office of some random company. Like let's say you work at a Toyota dealership, right? And they may need network engineers there. Uh, to, you know, to manage the systems and you might work, you might work with different aspects. You might do like Windows servers. You might be like a network admin who's also a network engineer. So just know that the typical day-to-day -day is very difficult. And in my case, I work for an ISP. So in my case, I'm working with multiple parties, bigger teams, uh, multiple engineers. So um, like I said, there's different aspects that you may work into. So uh, my typical day-to-day -day is mo mainly the work we do is a lot of implementation work. So that involves whenever there's a new, maybe a new router needs to get installed, a new you know device, edge device that needs to get installed. We'll go ahead, we'll write the configurations for that. Um, and the configurations we do write, um, we follow a system, right? There's like a whole page that we, you know, we, we get our information from. And then from there, we'll kind of like write the configurations beforehand before it's ever um, actually implemented. So we'll have like a whole documentation of like exactly what you'll do. And that whole process kind of takes, you know, a day or two, depending on how um, difficult or how, um, you know, what you're exactly you're doing. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's routine. It really just depends, right? Um, but most of the time, I mean, it's just, it, it shouldn't take that long because obviously maybe it's like a routine work um, or mul sometimes it'll be like multiple parties that are involved. So that may take time. Um, but um, in my case, you know, we, we write these, what are called like methods of procedures where you just show them or you just write down like all the configurations that you're going to be implementing uh, for, uh, for the day. Right. Um, and typically when it comes to network engineering work, um, it's done during the nighttime. So the hour, uh, the hours of night. And the reason we do this is if there's any outage or anything goes wrong, it's better to have it during the nighttime uh, than the daytime, right? So imagine you're a, you're a hotel, right? And or actually not, hotel is a bad example because usually um, they like doing the maintenance like during the uh, the daytime on that. But imagine like um, you're a hospital, or not even a hospital, imagine a school. That's probably the best example, right? You're a school, you're a university. Um, the, the, the prime hours, like, prime working hours, even office hours is like what, from from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., right? You wanna make sure those hours, there's no hiccups at all all at all no hiccups right and the, and the reason we do this is because obviously if there's a hiccup in those hours i mean there's there's a there's much more traffic that goes in that time and customers you know obviously if, if they don't they don't like when they're when the internet goes down when they can't make phone calls that's that's a headache right um it's better to have those during the nighttime midnight hours because there's less people presumably less people that are going to be using the network um so it's always best to have it at nighttime so we'll, uh, to go back, we write the configurations. Um, once the configurations are all written, usually it'll get reviewed by other engineers within our team. So they'll review it. They'll make sure things look good, make sure it won't cause any issues. Uh, usually get re reviewed by multiple parties, depending on how difficult it is. And once it's reviewed and finally reviewed, then you can um, you, you schedule a time to implement it. And you just implement that um, that project and you go from there. So um, the whole process is, is is the typical life cycle of, of what we do. We usually get like tickets that come in. So it's uh, it's a very interesting work most of the time because you're working directly on the routers. You know, you're you're checking stuff. You're making sure that uh, things are going wrong. Right? You're actually physically configuring. You're seeing traffic being shifted. Uh, it's a lot of cool stuff that's really involved. And I really do enjoy that. Um, another aspect of the job that we do is troubleshooting, which is also very cool. And I think troubleshooting is probably the, the best part of the job. Honestly, it's like the funnest job because obviously like, 
whenever you're troubleshooting, there's something that's gone wrong. Maybe it's an outage, maybe something happened, right? And you're trying to fix it. And it's a very, I wouldn't say it's a high pressure environment, but um, it's, it's a time where you're highly focused, you know, you're working with teams, maybe there's like you're on a, on a video call with multiple uh, individuals and you're all trying to just come up with a solution and see what the problem is and, and see what's like, what's the issue and let's try, let's try to solve it, right? And when it comes to troubleshooting, it's it's a lot because um, you're 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 sometimes you're in an environment where you you, you know you, you hop on a call, people are waiting, they're like, hey, we gotta fix this right now. So, um, but there's a whole process that's involved. I mean, troubleshooting itself, it's it's a it's an interesting skill to have, and it's a uh, it's a skill that you know should be learned while you're a network engineer because it's a. Uh, such a valuable skill because all the time things go wrong you know you, you you're always blamed as a network engineer right you're the you're the first person they come to say why is it why is the internet not working they'll come to you guys and they'll say you know it's your fault right so we'll go ahead and see what the problem is and we'll diagnose the issue and we can you know bring your evidence and show that it may it's not from our side it's probably from your side and you know that's just that's most of the time what we're doing is um you know there's an issue there's a there's an issue going on you see it and you see that your side looks perfectly fine but their side is the problem. So you can just, you know, show them and tell them that, hey man, this is an issue. So you'll maybe create like an email thread and show them like your side's fine and maybe maybe this is the issue. You, you can go in and fix that side. So um, that's just the day life of network engineer. It's just typically just doing those kind of, that kind of work, like the implementation work of new stuff or fixing the the, the current stuff. So it's like an operational based environment. So it's a whole process that's involved. And, you know, like I said, every position is different. So it, it might, well, from what I do is could be completely different from what you do. So um, don't expect that. I mean, every job, you just never know what you get into, to be honest. It's uh, most of the job descriptions aren't very clear. Um, so you just never know what you end up getting into. So um, with that being said, guys, the day life and networking year is just, you know, it's typically that implementation, troubleshooting, working with teams, a lot of collaborating, a lot of um, logistics involved, making sure that you're, you know, you're working with other parties. So um, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna be making some more content, and uh, if you guys are, if you guys ever need help, any questions that you might have, um, I do have a link below if you can book a call with me, and we can discuss any help that you have. Or if you're trying to be a network engineer, I can help with resumes, I can help with um, um, interview questions, anything you guys want. Um, just I'm here to help. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, peace.